Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these two vacuum mops. So on the left, I got the Tenko Floor One S3, and on the right, I got the Shark HydroVac Pro XL Cordless. So the Tenko retails for about $319, the Shark uh, retails for about $279. So I was given the Shark to me free by Shark, but I, buy, I did buy the Tenko with my own money. So first off, these are both vacuums and mops. Now the Tenko does come with a charging base that has a holder for an extra brush and a little a cleaning brush and an extra filter. There's what that looks like. Now the Shark, is they're both a charging base and you want to put them on there when you're ready to clean them. So here's what the charging bases look like. They got a connection back here that's going to charge the battery inside. Okay, so let's talk about how you control them. On the Shark, there's a single button here. You're going to press it to turn it on. It does have a button here for when you want to do like a rug. On the Tenko, you got a power button, and you got a max button, and then you got a clean button when you put it on the, the dock. This one, whenever you put it on the dock, you just hit the power button and it does the self-cleaning mode. Okay, so let's turn the Tenko on. You're just going to press the button for about two seconds. It does talk to you, and it tells you that it's in auto mode. So right now we're in auto mode because we can see that right there. If I hit this button right here, I'll go out of auto mode and go to max. But first, I got to kick it over center. So even though it's powered on, nothing is happening yet because I got to kick. Once I kick it over, now I can go to max. I'm in max mode. It's got the vacuum and the solution putting down the maximum amount the whole time. It's not varying it. I'm going to go back to auto. So in auto mode, it's going to sense how dirty the floor is. Like right now, the floor is really clean because it's blue. So I can use this to clean my floors like on a weekly basis. Let's say I don't have any spills. I can just go around and clean my whole floors. This will save battery because when it senses a spill or a really dirty area, then it kind of ramps up the vacuum and the solution. And I'm going to show that to you. But if it's just normal floor and it's cl relatively clean, it kind of conserves the battery a little bit. So I got some milk on the floor. I've got it in auto mode. You're going to see it ramp up whenever it senses that. See it turn red? And it's going to get it clean. It put more solution and more vacuum. And then once it gets it clean, it goes back to blue. And it kind of lowers the solution and the ba it saves battery level. So I can just go around and clean my whole floors with this. And I'm done. Kick it up and then turn it off. Now it does. this one does have voice prompts. I can turn those voice prompts off back with a button back here. Okay, so let's do the shark. Again, one power button. You're simply going to press the power button. It's going to turn the vacuum and the solution on at the same time. So I can go around and clean my floors. Now, it doesn't have auto sense, but it will clean up a spill. So there it cleaned up the spill just fine. I have a battery indicator. Let me know how much battery I've got. When I'm done, Kick it over and then turn the switch off. And so there is the dirty water tank. You can see it picked up the milk. Now the floor on both of them, it's going to dry relatively quick. And that's what's the nice feature about these. It's one button. You turn it on. It puts the solution and the vacuum on at the same time. There's no more one button for the solution, one button for the vacuum or nothing like that. So it does it all automatically. You can just go around and clean your entire floors with it. It's, they're not necessarily designed for spills. They do great job on spills, but you can actually replace your mop and go around and mop your whole hardwood floors, linoleum, go into the different bathrooms. So these are really designed to clean your floors, and you can also grab it and do a quick um, spill cleanup because they do a really good job. I'm going to show you how they do on a really big spill. Okay, so let's see how each one of them does on a big mess. We got some chocolate, ketchup, milk, and dry cereal. Now they both left some cereal behind it, but they're both doing a good job of cleaning the surface. 
Even the Tinco had some cereal behind it. Okay, so they both did a really good job. The dry cereal was a little tricky. It kind of pushed some of it back. If I could have gone back farther, it would have picked it up. But they both leave about the same wetness. Both smell really good. There's the dirty water tank on the Shark. And the Tinco, there's the dirty water tank. So let's see how the self-clean cycle works. And we'll empty the dirty water tanks on both. Okay, so both of them, make sure you've got enough battery charge. The clean water tank has plenty of clean water and the dirty water tank's not too full. If it was extremely full, you'd have to empty it before you could do a self-cleaning. So with the Tenco, you're going to hit this one button right here and the Shark, you're going to hit the power button when you get it on the charger. Okay, so when you first put them on the charging base, the Tenco is going to talk to you and it's going to run like an analysis to see if it can do a, a, a clean water rinse. Okay, so let's activate both of them. We're going to press this button and then this button. So the Tinco stops for a second, but then it'll restart. I do feel like the shark is a little bit noisier during the cleaning process. Okay, Tenko finished first, then the shark. So the Tenko is going to talk to you and tell you, hey, uh, remove the water out of the dirty water tank. The shark. All right, so the shark. Let's take this out. There's the dirty water tank and the Tenko. And there's it. Okay, so let's do the shark. Again, I could just dump it out of this port right here, but I do have a bunch of food and debris in here. So let's take the filter out. Here's the filter. Now the filter did get kind of, it got wet and dirty. So we're gonna have to really clean this filter. Um, let's take this part out. This part just comes up like that. That's where all the dirty food is and there's where the water is. So I'm gonna clean this out and rinse this out really good. Okay, so now I've got the Tenco. Let's take a look at it. Let's take its filter off. Now what I like about the Tenco is this filter doesn't get extremely dirty. It's not even wet, so I can reuse this very easily now. So let's take a look here. I gotta take this part comes off. There's where all the debris comes. So it is starting to kind of clog up that tube right there. So you gotta be careful with that. So let's dump all this out and give this a good clean. Okay, so let's put everything back together again. This filter, you know, it did get a little damp. I was able to kind of dry it off with a paper towel. It'll only go in there one way, but that does have to be that that filter has to be dry before you can use it again. Put it in there like this. And then this goes like that. Over here, this piece comes off. I did find quite a bit of debris in that suction tube. Then this goes on. There's like these little uh, ears right here that go on. And again, I did like that this didn't get extremely dirty. Again, this filter has to be dry in order for you to use it again. And it's dry. And it just sits right up here. Okay, so let's see how each one did. The roller, let me take the roller off. And the roller's a little damp. Now this one, the Tenko does have holes in here. This will facilitate kind of that roller drying a little bit better. Let's take the shark off, press this button. It's kind of the same thing, lifts up, out of the way. So on the Tenko, there's what it looks like. The shark, I do have some debris in there still and some chocolate syrup and things. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen it get that debris out just a little bit better. 
you can see these rollers look really close to being the same, same thickness, same padding. Okay, let's put them back together. Put the gear side in and push that down. Put the gear side in, push that down. Put these little ears in the front. Snap it. Same with this, put the ears in the front and snap it. So overall, I felt like they both did a really good job cleaning. They're both easy to clean up. And this Tenco one, you can connect it to your app or your smartphone and it's got Wi-Fi and there's some things you can kind of check battery level, clean water tank and things. So I do like the uh, clean water tank on the Shark. Here's one on the Tenco. Okay, so with the Shark, I do like it a little bit better. I like it, you can take this off. I like that you've got a water line and then from here to here is where you put the concentrated solution. Over here on the Tenco, it's a little different. They want you to put the water in first or you can, you can put the water in and then a cap full of the solution. And then this just kind of snaps down. Now both of them have lights to let you know when the clean water, when the solution tank uh, goes empty, but the, the Ninja one, you can kind of keep an eye on it. It's kind of clear. Okay, so I did feel like the Tenco was quieter. I did feel like the Shark was a little bit noisier, but it, they both do a great job cleaning. You know, I did feel like this one does last a little bit longer because it has that auto feature so that it can ramp down the vacuum. This one's gonna be full force the whole time. I didn't find the rug part worked that best, so I would definitely wouldn't put this on rugs. Um, it's mainly meant for hardwood floors. The Shark did feel lighter. I had an overall sense with the Shark that it was a little bit easier setup wise. You know, everything seemed just a little bit easier on the Shark. Now I did feel like the Tenko, I'm not sure I'm gonna use the app, um, having the Wi-Fi, The voice prompts, uh, not necessarily sure about that. It does run a, you know, it does run a test to make sure that you have room um, to clean, to do, to, to do the self-cleaning. Um, I did feel like this this tube though was kind of clogging up there in the middle when you when I had the debris tank open um, I felt like that could be a problem the shark didn't really feel like that was a problem But the filter did get kind of wet so that can I might want to get an extra filter to keep on hand Because you don't want to run those with that filter wet or I can I did find that I just dried it with paper towels kind of squished it in paper towels and that kept me going again hard to put my finger on it um I felt like the Tenko might have did a better job, but the Shark was just kind of lighter, easier to use. You know, the Tenko was kind of just telling me different things with all the different voice prompts. You can turn those voice prompts off. I just felt like that could get a little confusing with it. So I'm really glad I've got the Shark. We're going to probably keep using the Shark. And again, if you want something that's kind of simpler to use out of the box, again, this is a little fancier with the Wi-Fi and the voice prompts and the auto and the max, you know, it definitely does a really good job. It's just, again, the shark seemed a little simpler. The, the solution tank was just, a, I, th I felt like it hold, held a little bit more. The dirty water tank was a little bit easier to clean. And I felt like the debris got into the dirty water tank better than that one there. It felt like that tube could clog up with debris. You know, but the Tenco, you do get an extra roller brush. This is for cleaning out the tank and the tubing and the, an extra filter. So if it's going to come down to price, you know, if they're the same price, I might get the Tenco. But if I can save money, I'm definitely going to get the Shark. I felt like I did a really good job. So if there are any other comparisons, again, we're just so surprised about how we can clean our floors now without a mop. We can use these on our weekly basis of just cleaning our hardwood floors, our linoleum. You know, we, we typically don't have big spills very often. We're, we're mainly going to be we're using them for just our weekly cleaning of the, and they're both doing a good job of that weekly cleaning and they both do a good job in the bathroom so again really hard to decide here they you know they both have some weaknesses both have some strengths um, I would probably go with the shark again just because it was simpler to operate so leave them in the comments down below if there's any other uh, reviews you would like or comparisons with any other models of these and thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.